Hey guys, welcome to the video. So this is what we've been waiting for today. iOS 12 beta 1 here. I'm running on the 5S of course for you guys. I know you guys wouldn't want me to do that. So um, anyway, so let's get right into it here. Man, I've seen some improvements here on the 5S. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit windy. You can see there, 12.0. I lost a little bit of storage here, about a gig, 1.1. Um, I have found out though that we have this new thing in here in the settings um, screen time which is pretty cool it's gonna keep track of like your downtime apps limits and all that good stuff and privacy restriction which I think is cool um, don't really know a lot about the changes yet I'll make another video but the voice memos have changed check the app out now that has changed here let's see what kind of wallpapers they give us here Definitely is quicker, guys. I mean, I can just tell from like a split second that it's quicker. Oh, wow. So we do. We get, ooh, nice wallpaper. We get this wallpaper right here. Wow. Um, overall, though, guys, going in like camera and stuff, definitely quicker. Um, so let's go ahead and. Geekbench. Let's check Geekbench numbers out, guys. So let's go ahead and run that here. So yeah, we'll talk more about the features here. Um, definitely is quicker. I can tell already. I will scavenge through it and I will find everything about it that we need to know and tell you guys. Sorry about the noise. My dad is mowing the grass. Um, but I know a lot of people still have 5S's, and I think that's one reason they updated them. Um, but I'm so glad because I did not want the 5S to go out on iOS 11 because that would be just pure out disaster. I mean, really, that right there was going to be awful. So, definitely glad of that, guys. That would have been that would have been something bad. But I said it was either going to help the 5S or hurt it. Right now, it's already helping, and this is just beta 1. I can't imagine when we get the actual GM build of iOS 12, it's going to probably rock on the 5S, because as of right now, this kind of reminds me of iOS 7. Like, when I go into messages, it's almost like that. You know what I mean? Like, I just get the iOS 7 feel with the way it loads the phone app and loads the... Um, texting app you know just your basic everyday apps on the 5s have been slow as anything i've ever seen and they are seem to be working consistently quicker but we'll see with this geek bench numbers here and we'll see what's going on with it um i put my mom her um se i put it on ios uh, 12 developer beta and it's quicker and the camera app loads way quicker on that one i mean it's like instant and on this one it does load quicker consistently so it is a good thing. <clears throat> but I'm going to be doing all the betas for iOS 12, and I'll upload all the betas for you guys and make sure to let you guys keep up with at least the 5S and battery life, too. I'm going to do battery life tests now that we have this screen on time and all this. You know, I'm hoping the battery life for the 5S improves. I mean, if it can just improve, if we can just get another hour out of the battery, I'd be happy because, like, today on iOS 11, when I went to actual work, um, I had it on 100% charge before I left, and I'm not even joking. I were like 10 minutes away, and by the time I got there, it was on 89, and it's just ridiculous, you know what I mean? So, we're about halfway through right now, guys. Don't mean to bore you guys, I'm just trying to keep talking here. Um, but Apple claims that they have found some type of technology with the CPU and all that, which I would say is because the whole throttle on the old iPhones and everything else. So it was a smart move to bring iPhone 5S because if, I think if they wouldn't have, they would have made a lot of people mad. So it's all about performance updates here for, um, you know, all the iPhones, all the old ones, you know. And if you look at the beta or whatever, when you go to update it, it says bug fixes and improvements. It doesn't have anything about new features or all that. I mean, very little changes coming this year to the system. I mean... Which is, I'm happy with it. iOS 13, you know what I mean? That would be cool. We'll get features then. Maybe dark mode, all that great stuff that everybody's wanting. But, I mean, this is, this reminds me of going from iOS 9 to 10. Because iOS 10, to me, was the best system we've had since 8. Um, 
I love the iOS 7 on the 5S. I didn't like it on the 5 or the 4S because it was just, I don't know, it just didn't suit those phones well. The 5S ran it perfect. Um, 5S also ran the iOS 8 perfect, but iOS 9, that's when the problems really started with the battery drain, the slowdown. So when we went to iOS 10, I still remember even when I went to beta 1, I'm telling you, it was quicker and that's what this feels like. It's exactly like that. This is basically iOS 9 to 10, this is 11 to 12, nothing but bug fixes. So, alright guys, it's actually finishing up quicker than usual as well here on the Geekbench, so they've improved something somewhere. So, come on. But yeah, um, hope everybody's doing well out there. You know, I hope this video will help you because you definitely want iOS 12 on your 5S. And I think this is going to be better. Oh my god. We're about to find out. So, okay, I've been keeping track of these scores. Look here. You know, May 30, look at the single core here 22, 21, 2102, 22. And this is all the new one today. Look at this. A 1282, yeah, on a single core. Look at the multi-score, though. It jumped a good jump here, guys. And it's above average for the um, single core as well. The multi-score, though. Look at that. 102 points jump. So, you can see there, guys, you definitely, definitely might want to do this. Um, I'll update you guys here in a few days. We'll see what happens. iPhone 5S, iOS 12, first impressions. Um, I'm digging it, guys. I'm digging it. So, peace out. See you in the next uh, beta.